as I'm eating the sandwich, I'm thinking, this is a little fishy. What? What is this? And then I looked on the countertop. There were cat food. Hand. Just feeding her guest literal cat food. I would sue. Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. We're gonna be watching some TLC once again. TLC is that girl. She's that girl. At first, I wanted to do a video on the TLC woman who's addicted to eating her dead husband's ashes. I'm eating my husband but it was a little bit too dark. For some reason, when I saw the thumbnail, I was like, oh, funny. I don't know why I thought that, because it was sad, depressing. It was too dark for the Chan Chan. Anyway, today we're gonna be looking at the world's cheapest multimillionaire. She's loaded. She's got the moolah, the cash, the cash money. Cash, cash money. But she's not even living the lavish lifestyle that one would expect someone with her kind of bank account to live. She's not in a limo, and she's definitely not throwing bands at men at Walmart. Gosh. At least get a diamond in your forehead. Like, where's the forehead diamond? I keep my water heater turned off. I need 22 minutes to heat it up enough to get a shower. So I turn it on every morning when I get up. It saves me over $80 a month on my water bill. My name is Amy Elizabeth, and I'm the world's cheapest multimillionaire. First of all, can't believe she just up and showed her feet like that. Just bare in her feet for all of us to see. Feet. She could have made so much money with those suckers on OnlyFans. She could have funded her cheap lifestyle with her toes. Anyway, cool. She showers really fast or something. But how could she claim to be the cheapest millionaire when she has luxuries such as a modern bathroom television? That thick... TV, that is rich. We see you, girl. You ain't so cheap after all. You got a telly in the bathy. No. With a personal net worth of $5.3 million, this 50-year-old Las Vegas entrepreneur refuses to throw a single penny down the drain. How many times do we need to see her feet, TLC? Also, just want to point out she has another fancy modern TV in her kitchen. Girl, you're not so cheap after all. Don't even try me. Don't try me. <laughs> While we were married, Amy learned how to turn off the circuit breakers to save on power. Boy, do you, how many times I would wake up and forget that the water heater was off. Jump in that cold shower. Talk about shrinkage. Oh. Her ex-husband would accidentally take cold showers because she'd turn off the water heater and his schlong would shrink. <laughs> I like how he pointed that out. I'm glad I know that as a viewer. He experienced shrinkage which doesn't happen to me by the way like i know this isn't about me but like my thing is always just like a foot long it never shrinks it's the weirdest thing but enough about me this isn't about me this is my beautiful home as you can see it's full of upscale furniture i like nice things but i don't like to pay for them well how do you get them then girly how are you getting the fancy things sugar daddy possibly maybe a black market etsy shop Fill me in, I'm all ears. <laughs> Amy works hard to stay well below a $1,000 monthly budget. And although she can't afford a more comfortable lifestyle, she saves more than $200,000 annually by refusing to buy anything new. She's saving 200 Gs every year? Maybe she's onto something. I'm here to learn from the extreme cheapskates of TLC. But like all the other cheapskates on this show, what is she even doing with the savings? She saves 200K a year, but where's it going? It's not going to any important world causes, like Heidi Montag's music career fund, it's not worth it. If all of those savings aren't going to Heidi Montag's next album, her next pop album, hopefully featuring Ashley Tisdale, then I don't think it's worth it. It ain't worth it, girly. This is my one sponge. Some people might think this is a little nasty. Until it's falling apart and rotting, I don't see any reason to throw it away. No, stop, stop. Those can grow mold. Sponges? Mold! They equal mold. I bet. There's probably a whole community of invisible bacteria roaming around that sponge as she wipes it onto her coffee mug daily. Oh, I just Googled it. According to some random website, you should replace your sponge at least once a week. I replace mine like twice a month, but once a week is the recommended, I guess? Because apparently they can grow bacteria and viruses. Your sponge can just grow a virus? Coronavirus! Did this girl cause COVID? 
I'm not accusing. I don't want to like put that out there, but I am going to put it out there. We have to investigate this. She might be the cause for 2020 with that sponge. Great job. This isn't just affecting you anymore. It affected everyone. <sighs> So the way I got the house is when my ex-husband and I decided to divorce, he's got a good heart and he insisted that I keep the house because he knew that if I didn't keep the house, I would move into a hovel of a one bedroom apartment to save money and he's right. Okay, the luckiest divorce ever. Her ex just gave her the house out of kindness, out of love. I would never. If I get divorced, I'm not just gonna give away my house. No, we're selling it and splitting the profits. If you wanna go live in a one bedroom apartment, I'm not gonna feel bad for you. Cause we're divorced. Live wherever. I don't give a shit. Cause we're divorced. Me getting heated up over a divorce that hasn't happened. <laughs> Amy won't pay anyone to clean her home, so her ex-husband volunteers to do it for free, saving her $400 a month. What is going on with this ex-husband? I don't know if this cheap millionaire girl just has the best WAP known to man, the WAP of my dreams. He's just giving away houses, cleaning her house for free. Look at him scrubbing that shower. You can start and do the, the toilet. That needs it the worst. Okay work here. And don't forget to get under the room because you miss that a lot. Just bent over, cleaning your ex's toilet that they shit in. Sis, the only explanation is he wants her back. This might be a love story. How romantic. You know, Nicholas Sparks, the author of The Notebook, he needs to write a novel about this guy, about an ex-husband who wants nothing more than to win his wife back. So he scrubs her toilet shit for free. But then like the ending is like she never wants him back. Not all endings are happy. It's like, would that be like the message of the book? Anyway, just throwing out ideas if Nicholas Sparks is watching. I'm glad to help her around the house with the cleaning. I do yard work. I drive her to her appointments some once in a while. This is like free exercise for him. Keeps him in shape. Win, win, win all the way around. I mean, morals aside, she might be doing something right. She has nice shit. She doesn't have to pay for somehow. She's saving 200 G's annually. And she even has a personal butler man who just like cleans everything for free, does the yard work, drives her to appointments, drives her to her dick appointments she found on match.com. She might be winning life. The way he looked at her at the end of that clip, he wants his girl back. And he's gonna scrub as many toilets as it takes to win her back. One of the times that I noticed that Amy was a cheapskate. She asked me, did I want lunch? So I said, sure. She fixed me a tuna fish sandwich. As I'm eating the sandwich, I'm thinking, this is a little fishy. What is this? And then I looked on the countertop. There were cat food cans. What? Just feeding her guest literal cat food. I would sue if I was that friend. I'm not eating cat food. Like if you tell me before, hey, I'm saving money, so this is cat food. Then I'd be like, oh, listen, I don't want any. Maybe I'll try a bite. But if you're trying to sneak it over me, Girl, girl, I'm calling Judge Judy because you're being sued. <laughs> I'm calling the FBI. I'm calling Dr. Phil. Oh, I don't think Amy has actually ever fed anyone cat food. I wouldn't put it past her to try. Tuna fish for people, 89 cents. Cat food for cats, 59 cents. I just saved 30 cents. Mm, that's good. Her personal butler who does everything for her for free isn't worth the extra 30 cents. This is wrong. I mean, at least he seems to enjoy the cat food. He's enjoying the experience, the texture. He likes it. He's a simple man. Is he still single? Just wondering. I have regular business trips to LA, so I drive my car. My car is a 96 Mustang. It's lovely. I'm almost afraid to drive with her in it because you don't know if it's gonna break down. Amy will only spend $80 on gas and $10 on an oil change. I mean, that's not that crazy, right? When I lived in LA, I drove to Vegas many a time in my car. I didn't fly. Wait. Am I an extreme cheapskate? PLC? Do an episode on me. Pick me. Okay, what's something else cheap I do? Let me think. Oh, I steal people's cars at like, grocery stores. Like when they're in getting their groceries, I steal their car and then sell it on Craigslist. What can I say? I'm a cheapskate. Just kidding, I don't do that. I don't. I do not partake in that. But I would pretend I did to be on TLC. All these safety issues going on right now, I feel very uncomfortable letting you leave my facility with the car in this shape. Probably looking right over $1,000 for all the repair we see that Are needs to be done. Are you kidding me? Oh no, she's getting mad. No, I don't wanna pay the money. That's, it's a piece of crap. 
That's why I have a piece of crap, so I don't have to spend money on it. I came here for you to look at it, not for you to take possession of it. Got lawyers that'll hit you with lawsuits up the ass. That's just bullshit. She's angry, she's not spending the money, and she's gonna sue him with lawyers up his ass? Is that what she said? <laughs> Got lawyers that'll hit you with lawsuits up the ass. Lawyers that will get you up the ass. The mechanic's just like, doesn't sound too bad. What's the number to these lawyers, if you don't mind me asking? She won't spend the money to put a belt on the car. She is the cheapest millionaire I ever met before. He is throwing all the shade. Also, cars wear belts? She won't spend the money to put a belt on the car. I am done, that's not a thing. No, no they don't. Anyway. I'm on my way to the airport right now and I'm gonna bum a ride for free. Amy has dated pilots in the past, so she knows her way around airports. She'll try to find a, a pilot that's got an empty plane or something like that, you know, and uh, entice them to give her a ride. Okay, I don't know how she does it, but she's doing it. She can finagle her way into peer pressuring pilots to give her free flights? How do you go about that? She should write a book. She's got some sort of powers going on and she needs to spread the word to the public. How to make everyone around you do shit for you for free all the time. Rich girl tings. I would buy. I would pre-order. Okay, why don't you wait here and let me show you how it's done. Are you a pilot? Well, I need to get a flight to LA. I'm desperate to get there today because I have a business trip. I need to get a free flight. Once in a while they get lucky and find someone who's uh, headed where they want to go. I didn't even know this was a thing. Also, like you can just walk into an airport. That doesn't seem safe. <laughs> Where's the TSA? You can just go to the back and walk through a gate and now you're on the runway? Something ain't adding up. <laughs> but I'm gonna try it. They could ask people that are going up and doing test flights or break-in flights. It's just being lucky and being in the right place at the right time. I mean, looking at these planes, it's not worth it. They're too small. Also, I'm pretty sure he said sometimes pilots are doing test flights. No, I don't wanna be involved if you're testing a plane or testing if you know how to learn how to fly. I'll pay the Southwest Airlines ticket. <laughs> the other pilots in the hangar uh, suggested I talk to you. I'm trying to find desperately a flight to LA in the San Monica area. I guess that'll be all right. It's, it's, it's kind of not really fun to really fly alone anyway. Well, that was easy. He, he agreed right away. She got the free flight to, on that small ass plane. No, I would never get in a small plane. I mean, I already did when I went skydiving. They bring you up in this small ass plane, but at least you have a parachute or when it crashes, you can at least jump out. Small planes aren't it, except for seaplanes. Those are so cute. I want to go on a seaplane. Mm. Chartering an airplane, two to three thousand dollars for a trip down to LA, and she got it for free. When I go to these extremes and people see this, I think it annoys a lot of them, but I don't care. It saves money. If you don't understand that, I don't know how to speak to you. Yeah, if you don't feed your friends cat food to save 30 cents, I will not speak to you. You're not on my level. Wow, main character energy. This is how millionaire cheapskates live. By the way, I forgot to ask, but can I get a ride home too? She may be richer than any other human who's ever lived on this planet, but she still gets a thrill from being a cheapskate. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm glad I watched this. We all learned some stuff. I'm gonna start feeding my friends cat food. Why not? You know, honestly, why not? I'm doing it starting now. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that notification bell so you never miss another video like this. And with that, I'm gonna go. Bye.